What is good my guys and girls of YouTube? My name is Justin Omoe and today I want to talk to you guys and girls a little bit about dithering and being able to understand what the hell it is and why you should have it on in your songs. In the video I talked about with FL Studio settings and export settings, how to have the best uh, settings, I did explain dithering will help your sound sound better. That was all I gave you, but today I want to extrapolate and give you more information about that. All right, today, now, dithering. Okay, what is dithering? Dithering is a process of adding intentional noise to help better the conversion from 24 or 32 bit down to 16 bit, whether it be from an MP3 conversion or just converting wave 24 to 16. And to better help understand this, I'm going to use this video right here, my webcam uh, image as an example. Right here, the quality, the resolution of my camera is 1280 by 720p, whereas FL Studio in the back, you see the whole computer is 1920 by 1080. If I were to shrink this down, Notice that it is not 1280 by 720 anymore. It is the original resolution is, but I did scale it down. Now it's like, I don't know, a little bit less than that. Some, I can't tell. But what happened was I was shrinking the video file. It looks a little bit cleaner, crisper, perhaps. What is happening? We are downgrading. We are compressing the pixels. We're dividing it down so we could be able to still maintain this image while, you know, being able to use it so look even small like this if i were to export this then zoom in it'll look pretty bad whereas if i were to stretch this uh video all the way to 1080 it's gonna look blurry because we are adding pixels to help make it look like it's bigger so you know it's blurry but this is the perfect resolution it may look like this because the lighting there it looks a little bit more cleaner like that it has auto settings for video, it'll be pixels, where audio, it'll be the level, the decibel level, dimensions, being able to convert from 24-bit depth resolution down to 16. We have to release 8 bits of information. Now, let me take this off because I don't really like the light in my face. By reducing it by 8 bits, we are reducing it by 8 damn dimensions. One bit is going to have two revolutions, resolutions, whatever. Two is going to have four. 3 bit is going to have 8, 4 bits going to have 16, and so on. So if I go keep going, 32, 24, whatever. Just know things are being reduced, and by reducing, we have to compress down. And when we do compress down in the computer world, it's going to create some error sounds, or in this case, noise. But to better give you an ear and visual look, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it for y'all now. First, I'm going to pull up Edison. Edison, Edison, Edison. I'm going to go ahead and put on now and record a sample. This is an audio test. Uh -huh. So here's my audio. And I'm going to denoise this just to make it a little bit cleaner. So people won't be like, hey, it's noise in the denoise the background. Even though you, you, you could hear that. And I'll delete the excess because we don't need that. This is an audio test. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to drag this down here and I'm going to put this into, first I'll rename it, original and control L. Here is the original track. I'm going to arm to record it real quick and I'm going to export it. Alt and R in the mixer as first a 16 bit and notice dithering is highlighted because we're going down. Of course, we have to dither, but I'm choosing not to dither because, you know, I'm showing you an example. And I'm going to do it one more time, but this time I'm going to have the dithering enabled um, before anything. Where the hell is the sound? And one more time. I may be tripping. There it is. I don't know what happened the first time. That was weird. So this is ND, not dithered. All right. And now I'll do it one more time. And this is going to have the dithering on. Uh, I think I messed up. Let me do the... Yeah, 16 bit non dith. All right, after fighting over and over, I finally got it out. <laughs> here we go. Um, so here we have the three tracks ND, not dithered, and D, of course, for ditter. Ditter, not dinner. I'm going to put them in the tracks again here. 
Next, I'm going to mute the dithered so we could take the non dithered and I'll show you the distortion that it created. Take that off from armed. And to be able to do this, we have to inverse the polarity, aka reverse the polarity, flip. So we could take out the noise. So if you hear it, I'll hit play. This is that is without it reversed. I'm going to reverse the non dithered. I don't know how good you can hear, but there is noise in there. And I'll show you with the Edison, of course. Go here, Edison. And okay, my voice is not in there. So good. I'm hit record and play. Okay. I definitely heard that. And if you cannot see it here, I'll show you real quick. One here and one here. I'll zoom in and I'll hit N so you can see that. Oops, not M. So you see that little signal there? That definitely, you could probably not hear it, but you could train your ears to hear it. Not saying you're bad if you don't hear it. Anyways, what I wanna do now is normalize it. This is noise, okay? And to better your ears, I'm not gonna hit play, I'm gonna reduce it down, and then I'll hit play. That is non-dithered distortion noise. Um, I'm saying distortion because, you know, it's not, it's probably not the proper term, but yeah. ND dist. It's just the noise it makes from compressing down and having those error numbers. Cause rounding up, rounding down, you name it. I'll do the same thing with the dithered this time. So I'm gonna unmute that, mute this, and of course mute the noise cause I don't want that. All right, and I'll go ahead and go here, shoot, hit on um, play, record, and hit play. Okay, and same thing here, except for this time, look up here on the top. That is what the dithering does. It's helping the higher frequencies have uh, less of a sound, or no, no, my bad. It's reducing the lower frequencies because the higher sound we can't hear as often, or it won't be annoying in this case. And for those who don't understand, once I hit normalize and I shrink it or I hit play, you're gonna understand. This is a noise, I'm gonna lower down, or it's actually the same low, I'll hit control Z, make it fair, I'll hit play now. So what sounds worse, all right? <laughs> That's a dumb question, but what sounds worse, all right? Brace your ears. Actually, you don't have to brace your ears, the master. What sounds worse, this, this is, or this? Of course, both is like, why do we have this in the sound? Of course, I explained why. But this one right here this sounds way more better than this one. This that is what dithering does. Dithering adds in a probability of noise. It depends what type of dithering you put in, but it adds noise into the sound to be able to reduce the the uh, noise that would be originally dropped down when you were to compress it down. This is like thinking of a sawtooth pulse wave. It's a consistent noise because we did not dither or add in noise is going to be a similar sound. So it's like dzz, instead of like dzz, if that makes sense. <laughs> all in all, you would want to dither your sound because definitely um, this is just one vocal, but you'll have many other sounds. It will not be as heard, but if you have an ear for it, you could hear it. And lastly, it does not hurt to have the dithering on. But yeah, guys and girls, that is dithering. Understanding dithering, for those who don't know, that's that without the terminology. Thank you guys and girls for watching. Thumbs up the video if this helped you all out or, you know, you learned something new today. My name is Justin Omoe, and with that being said, peace. I'm out.